Yo, what's up guys? It's me, Louie here, aka Redliner. Don't mind the noise in the background, my parents. But, um, yeah, so I have a army bag full of things, and I'm gonna show you what it is. It's pretty much like a survival bag. So, it has a whole bunch of stuff in it. I'm gonna try to show you with my back camera. Here we go. First of all, we have a helmet. It's not a real army helmet, but it's a close look. What it looks like. Don't mind my messy room. That was me throwing an island key. Um, yeah, this is a bag. It has a waist guard. Oh, uh, yeah. I'm gonna open up my window so you can probably see it better. There we go. I just tried it a little bit. Now my room is pretty great. Now you can see the helmet. Pretty nice. I broke it. One of the straps missing. Here's the bag. Has lots of cool things in it. So first we're gonna start off with weapons and self-defense things. So in this pocket, and now I've packed this myself. You're gonna find metal pallets. And you'll see why you need those later. So yesterday when I went to the surplus store, I bought two um, different sizes of them. So I'm just trying. Sorry, I'm just trying to get the other pack out. Two fingers. I'm actually gonna record on my right hand for my hand. These ones are definitely bigger for big, bigger animals. If you're trying to eat something, so like say like a nuclear warfare happened. Want this? I'm just gonna set this one up. You want to keep this as neat as possible, so you can get things you need as fast. Okay. I'm not actually sure if I put anything in this pocket. No, I did not. Oh no, that was a lie. I did. Okay, so now we have a knife. I bought this yesterday for about three dollars at the normal surplus store. Sorry, I'm a bad recorder. Um, comes with a little case. That's pretty cool. Okay, and if someone comes in my room, don't mind them. So, it's a multi-tool, right? You got your... Sorry, I'm recording my left. My right. It's hard, though, because it's usually I use two hands for this thing. But, what you got here is... What you've got here, you got a spoon and a fork. You got a, and then the cool thing about this is, the spoon and fork work as a magnet. So when you both have them open, the knife comes apart, so you can actually use your spoon and fork. Now, if you don't want to use your fork and you're eating something like, I don't know, so you got like a deer with something, or whatever, like a squirrel, one second, you can use the knife. You have a knife and fork. Let me just put this stuff away. And then, once you're done eating, you take tap and you put them back together now this is like my only second time putting it back together so bear with me please now I can't guarantee this is going to get any views but that's okay just waiting for the other side to clip in there we go 
so yeah, that's part of it. Now let's open up two other parts. We've got this cork bottle opener thingy. There we go. Cocoa or cork opener, see has like the handle. So you got that. And now you got a open up this part here. God damn it, I'm sorry. Here I don't know what this is. It's not sharp. This is actually my first time seeing this. Um okay. Um let's see, where's that other part? And then, so then you have a can opener that you can use as a bottle opener too. You can use about anything for a bottle opener, but that's the next. Let me just put this away. Now, moving on to inside the pack with all the cool survival things and other weapons. Okay, so one of our first this is a slingshot. I bought it at my local surplus store for about twelve dollars. Pretty good. It has um has a armrest, so you bet get it by your actions. But that's what those metal pellets are for. You can use that on about anything. Not deer, like too big. Maybe like a squirrel. And then maybe some like birds or something. And then I've got another sort of weapon in here. But I'm probably not gonna have it. It's not gonna do much. But um I have an airsoft pistol. It's um supposed to be a 911 mag out. It holds probably about that many. Um, it's a pump. And you just take up this mag real quick. Yeah, so it's a spring-loaded airsoft pistol. So yeah, it has a safety and all. You pump it back. Now, I have a rifle, but it's broken. Like, not a real rifle, an airsoft rifle. But. There you go, that's. 11. Now, moving on to things that'll help you survive better, make your, your terrible time maybe a little more comfortable. Here, I have gloves. That's gonna keep your hands warm, even if you don't need them. Say if you're outside at the middle of the night, you're gonna want those to keep your hands warm. Alright. So, and then, let's see that part later. In case of nuclear fallout or anything, I have a gas mask. This is one of the newer ones. The canister is on the left side, so this will work for me. But yeah, I'm not actually sure what kind of chemicals it can withhold, but, and then, so here's the canister, that's going to keep you alive, it has charcoal and things like that. Okay. What else we're talking um, in that part, in that part. I don't want to move on to the food yet. Um, we're gonna go to like medical supplies and things like that. Oh, these. These are also 
keep you warm. Nice thick socks will keep you warm. I put the gloves on with my my cadet boots. I have a pair of nice warm socks. Those are not the winter socks, but they are thick socks. So I'm gonna go in this pouch. I actually don't remember what I put in this pouch. Um. Okay, so. Sorry, I was trying to get this. Alright. What we have here? That can see a baby powder. This will dry out any runes. So it doesn't get like rotten and stuff. Because if you dry out the blood and stuff, you can last a little longer without it. It also just helps with like chasing that happens so this is good to have paracord you can use this to tie yourself to a rock ledge or tie something to you so that's good to have too oh and I have something that now we're gonna start moving on to medical supplies this is something you're never gonna want to use this is a tourniquet Pretty much, if you've been shot or you have like a really bad wound, you pretty much take one of these, you tie it around that wound, and it cuts the blood circulation off, so you don't bleed out or anything. So that's good to have, but you don't want to use one of those. Well, you want to if you need to, but it's not. You're not going to be in a good condition if you have to use it. So here, toothpaste. You can use it to brush your teeth. You're like, oh, there's no toothbrush. You can use your finger. Also good for bug bites. And also cleaning wounds. Alright. That's good to have. Let's see. And here we have... Sorry, let me just open up this pouch a little better. In here, we have a little Tupperware, or Tupperware container. You can, like, hold berries in it that you find. It has a couple other, um... Like buckles and stuff. Another thing for like a tourniquet. You take those out. It comes with a little sewing kit. So like, say you get hurt, you can sew yourself together. But I wouldn't, honestly. Because like, I'm not a trained professional to be doing that. So I'd honestly just use it for like, if I broke something like clothing. And like, I have other supplies in there, so if you break clothing, this will come in handy. So, and then in the same pouch, we have spit masks, or whatever you want to use them for. So, let's say someone's sick, and you don't want to get sick. You got a bunch of those. Those you have. Got some more stuff in here. See? You have some patches. So, you can sew, if you rip your clothing, sew it on. Or you could use it to put pressure on... Like a wound if you don't have it or if you don't have a tourniquet anything in that pouch no there is not going on to one of our side pouches we have i'm just gonna pull everything out latex gloves if you're working with someone that has ended up bleeding those are good to have i'm gonna put those with the tourniquet and toothpaste and stuff let's see i need to read this um sterile pad to clean off a wound good and then a fabric fabric triangular bandage that's good anything in there I there's not all right so we have everything in there now we're gonna want to move on to the um inside of bags like food and things like that so here, you have a garbage bag, or you could store your food in it. That's always good to have, so you don't leave your garbage around. And then, in here, oh, this is heavy. Rations. If you run out of food, this will save your life. It may sound like a rock, but let's see. Let me look at this back. Per one of the tablets, so like per square, it is 
2.67 ounces and 76 grams. And it is 400, or no, not 400 calories. It must be more than that. I guess it is 400 calories. Yeah. It has like lots of vitamins. Let's see. It has, the vitamins have B1, B2, D, E, B6, B12, niacin, iron, folic acid, magnesium, panthenic acid, calcium, phosphorus, vegetable shortening, partly hydrogenated soybean, and or condensed oils, and then there's more stuff in there, but I don't feel like reading it all, so rations, that goes like that, I'm doing another big line, reach in here, alright, so, this is not a real MRE, it's just food to go, right, I could have real MREs, but this is not one, but it's like a three meal thing for the day, so this is Cinnamon sugar oatmeal. It is very heavy. There's lots in it. I'm gonna take these back a little bit. Let's reach in a bag again. So there is American America's finest mac and cheese. I'm not from America, so um yeah. I'm from Canada, but um yeah. So you can use that you can eat that for dinner or lunch. And then then we have this, which is organic tangy tomato basil soup with pasta. You can eat that for lunch or dinner too. Now we have some small things in here now. Let's see, so we have three packs of Nescafe original coffee. That's good for like if you're low on energy. Then we have two packs of this, like, Chinese instant ginger tea. That's good to have, too, in case you're sick or something. And then, we got some more stuff in here. Can't quite find it. There we go. Um, the Vena, two Vena Cafe things that are, like, instant coffee. They're really good. Now I need to see if there's anything else in here. Let's see. I believe that is it. So, and then on the front of this, I have a Canadian leaf. To show I'm Canadian. And that is it for this video. Helmet, gas masks, and everything. They're really nice. And I'm going to really enjoy it when, when South... Or, no, sorry. When North Korea launches missiles at Canada and the U.S. Not to cause any panic. But thank you. Have a good day. Like and subscribe.